So the year was 1994. Uh, then young Ron Nuremberg was sending out college applications, dreaming of someday walking across campus at Trinity University. And that was also the same year that Wolf Stadium opened up in San Antonio. And so with that kind of synergy in play, we're going to talk about the fact that the Express News is reporting that a deal may be close for the missions to be sold to a local ownership group, and that could lead to a new stadium. I, I'm not, you know, when you think 1994, what, we're talking 28 years that Wolf Stadium has been around, and Major League Baseball is calling for updates to be made to all of their minor league stadiums. Your reaction, and what can you tell us so far about what's happening baseball wise in San Antonio? You know, I have no details to share at this time and, and you know, can't really comment on the speculation. Um, but but obviously there's been a lot of conversations, a lot of things happening with regard to baseball in San Antonio over the years. And, of course, the realignment of the Major League Baseball minor league system, which we've talked about before. Uh, I will say this. Um, the conversation, as reported recently, revolves around the possible uh, ownership being local. To, to the missions franchise uh that would be an incredible prospect for our community to have local ownership of of what is the oldest professional sports franchise in our city and and um you know that would be a, a very positive development with regard to the long-term future of baseball in san antonio but uh, yeah you did mention 1994 i was applying to college i arrived at trinity in 95 and Actually, that year became a sports reporter assigned to the press box of the missions uh, for the Trinity University paper. So I, I, I know that ballpark. I've been there. I uh, spent many times, many nights in that ballpark in the press box covering the missions. And so that's a franchise that uh, obviously we want to see here for a long, long time and has a special place in my heart and many others. Synergy. It just continues. <laughs> the synergy just continues around this topic. I, I, I want to know, though, Graham Weston, uh, uh, former Rackspace uh, CEO, was one of the uh, people that were mentioned as possibly buying the missions. Uh, there's been a lot of talk, too, about a downtown group, including Mr. Weston, wanting to build a stadium downtown. I would guess that the city and county are going to have to help out in that endeavor uh, in, in different ways. I know it's something that's been talked about for a long time. I know even the current uh, missions owners, the Elmore Group, talked to has had discussions about it needing a new stadium. Is there any doubt that downtown is the place to put it? Well, again, I, I, I won't comment on the speculation. I, I will say this: there have been lots of um, permutations of this this discussion over the last decade. And what I've said uh, repeatedly is that uh, local ownership is really important for the long term future of a franchise, a professional sports franchise in our city. And that was the missing element in terms of the uh, of the discussions that were happening with regard to venue. Now, I will say this, uh, the missions have a ballpark. It's a it's a publicly owned ballpark. If um, all indications are that there is some desire down the road to have a new ballpark created, uh, sports uh, teams thrive when they're in the hearts of the city, where more people can access them uh, in the center of the city. So I, I would not be surprised if that's where the conversation eventually went. But uh, again, this is all speculation. I'm not going to comment on any any of that speculation until more details are revealed uh, as the weeks unfold. But uh, again, it, as it relates to the future of the missions, if indeed they eventually came under ownership locally. That would be an extremely positive development for baseball fans, sports fans, and San Antonio residents in general. There is a lot of speculation about location. That conversation's been ongoing for years about having something centrally located that would draw a lot, a lot of people to the downtown area. If there is something that develops down the road, a new location, is that something that taxpayers may contribute to? Is that an idea that, that you support? You know, again, all of that is speculation. What I've said to the missions uh, in prior conversations is show us show us a proposal. Um, you know, the public involvement in uh, professional sports franchises comes with a very high bar to cross. And what that bar is for me 
is what's the community benefit? What is the what is the return on investment for San Antonio residents? And without some sort of long term guarantee to a franchise staying in San Antonio, being part of the community long term, uh, that's really difficult to do. Again, uh, if if we're talking about local ownerships being involved, uh, local local ownership being part of that uh, calculus moving forward, that changes the dynamics from where we've been in prior iterations of this this discussion. So, again, all this is speculation, though, Myra. I have to I have to repeat that we've heard rumors about sports leagues over the years. We've heard rumors about the missions uh, recently in the last decade, and in particular over the last five years. I'm not going to really comment on on where this goes until we hear more details finalized and and those conversations really come to come to a conclusion. Okay, so as we're uh, continuing our sports segment with the mayor here, let's talk about something (laughs) that we know a few more details about now. We'll switch gears to football, the San Antonio Brahmas. We now know the name of the team, the XFL team. So share what details you can about your optimism for this because certainly it's a road that san antonio has traveled and ended in disappointment so many times before so so when you said football i thought we were going to talk about the san antonio football club which is our soccer team that's now into the (laughs) western conference finals but since we're talking about american football and the xfl yes uh we're i'm excited about it this is a new startup league. It's a it's a relaunch of the XFL under completely new ownership and league management and league system. Uh, it's a, a, it's a close cousin, I would call it, to the NFL with regard to the front office and how this team how the teams are going to work. In many cases, they're going to be talent uh, talent development done in conjunction with the NFL. So, you know, all leagues that try to compete with the NFL inevitably fail i don't see where this is this is what is going to happen with the xfl though um we know that they're going to have a full season in the alamo dome uh starting in the spring of next year and the rock dwayne johnson uh, has put a little bit of a personal trademark on the san antonio franchise with the naming of the brahmas so i i'm i'm excited about it we'll, we're we're gonna have um realistic hopes for the xfl they've got great people managing the league and who are going to be managing the San Antonio club, including Heinz Ward, who is the head coach. So this is more professional football. Now you alluded to uh, the discussion that a lot of people have had, the hopes that we will eventually become an NFL city. And I have arguments with some of the people in my own staff about this, Uh, but I do believe that the NFL, just like other sports franchises are trailing indicators of the broader economy. So San Antonio has not had um, much of a shot. At NFL teams in the past, we've been used as a community for leverage against other cities, in large part because I, I don't think the NFL uh, and NFL ownership saw San Antonio as a good investment. It's a business after all. Those things are changing and changing rapidly as our economy has become more uh, diverse, more inclusive, as we climb the ranks in terms of the major cities that are creating jobs and in new industries. And so I do believe that we are making steps towards the direction of being able to buy uh, and become a a place where the NFL uh, would want to locate and and could thrive. And so uh, I I, I believe that, you know, I've said this before, that within the decade, San Antonio will be an NFL NFL city. Uh, I stand by that. It will be our choice, I think, at that point, whether or not we want to become one. But our the, those choices are going to become more readily available to San Antonio, and we've got to do uh, what we need to do as a community if we choose to go in that direction. I hope your prediction is right. All right, I want to ask you: Have you got your Brahma gear, mm-hmm. and are you do you like the name? I love the name. Uh, I love it because of the the connection again to to the Rock, and plus it's it's a it's a fierce uh, mascot, um, which I think shows well for the San Antonio community. Uh, I have not gotten my gear yet, though. I, I will get that very soon, I'm sure. For now, the gear that I'm wearing is going to be Trinity, Incarnate Word, and UTSA. And don't forget, <laughs> Sunday night, we have the SAFC in the playoffs. There you go. By the way, I already told Greg this. I said for the fan section, you know, you've got the, the baseline <laughs> bums for the Spurs. For the Brahmas, the bullpen. Ooh, I oh, like there it. You go. The bullpen. That's I like what they, it. Just, just an idea. So hey, if you could let the rock that. know that for me, that would be <laughs> great, Mr. Pass, Mayor. Yeah, pass along we'll, a message. We'll 
All right. And, and if uh, if Greg needs a night off, you and I can fill in for him on sports. <laughs> yeah, there exactly. Exactly. Sports now, that's a great audition, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> Thanks for your time, as always.